Song sung by uh, the Jerry Cans. That's the track, Northern Lights. And you see, it's a self release. You're listening to Clean Cup of Radio on KZSU Stanford 90.1. And I have right here with me my guest for today. She's, we're, we're uh, you know, I want to let y'all know about computing for cancer. Yes? And yes. So this is uh, Michelle Sheen. And, uh, yeah, she's like part of the team that's carrying forth this app and we're getting word out. They've already like won a spot. They, what, what, you all did a... a yeah, they did a, they did a presentation at the U.S. Unite International uh, Science Foundation at their app summit. Nice. So tell us about the app, Computer, Compute for, for Cancer. cancer. Correct. Yeah. So you can download the app at Compute for Cancer on Android or the Amazon Kindle Fire. Um, so you basically download it, block it on face via Facebook, and then um, just charge it to 90%. And when you sleep and when the phone is idle or the device is idle, you're basically contributing your processing power to help power cancer research. Okay, so I so before I go to bed, I have to already have it juiced up at, at least to 90% of my battery. Correct. And then I keep correct. it plugged in all night. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the app is automatically tapping the computing power as well as the electrical charge. Um, so it's not drawing down your battery anymore, right? Would that be correct? Um, I think you're charging anyway, so I don't think yeah. it really matters. Yeah. So, and then, and then that computing power gets aggregated uh, like a crowdsource to, uh, and, it, and it, you're basically donating uh, computing power time and otherwise cost the cancer researchers a lot of money. So we're offsetting that money with everybody's uh, smartphones, and, and Androids, and uh, Kindle, Kindle Fire. Correct. It's not on iTunes yet. Correct, correct. So, yeah, it costs a lot of money to do a cancer research project. It costs about $40 million. Um, just, wow. just, yeah, just for that, you know, and only researchers and scientists and certain people have access to it. So we wanted to bring that to the mass. Yeah. You know, so I mean, imagine the future of computation where anyone who's using AI, um, who wants to detect cancer early, can use that. Um, so they don't have to pay for CPU and and you know and, and GPU and, and just it would be a lot cheaper, right? And, and well, basically, I could diagnose myself in the same, <laughs> same manner. Do I, I have cancer or not? I don't think you want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. But basically, I mean, like for for technologists, you you need to have you know that that back end that processing power to to yeah. do research and to power your project, right? So this is really democratizing. Processing power. Yes, big data for, for biomedical is correct. And for medical, anything, there's a lot of computing power to crunch the data. So, uh, yeah, tell us about your founders. Oh, um, sure. What, so, what, what, what were the intent to begin with? Yeah, so this uh, Computer for Cancer is founded by uh, Chris Kitchen. Um, so he was working at Google, and, and then just one day in, in the, the, on December 25, 2013, he has this idea that the Google Glass could be doing something or should be doing something when it is idle, right? So, so why why not, right? Yeah. So he basically experimented with different uh, servers, and he has an aha moment when. He shut down the world community good in two days. Okay. <laughs> so it's in world community good? Yeah, well, there's a website called the World Community Grid, okay. and uh, the Berkeley Open Infrastructure Network Computing is basically using distributed uh, processing power to uh, just really power different projects, and they're okay. listed on the uh, World Community Grid. So, so basically, Chris, he just broke 
kind of broke the internet pretty he broke much. The, he broke the internet. He did. <laughs> That's what experimentation is about, is breaking things. Yeah. So then what did he do after he broke it? So he, he was like, well, I think he called him and, and he, I, I believe that he found out that, you know, what he did was um, about 88 years of compute in about two to three days. So oh. that, that was amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. So he just went in there and overloaded it to see how, how much, he, what his threshold was. Yeah. To, to, a, a computing power that was excess to be able to leverage for things like computing for cancer. Correct. So, you know, I think it's kind of important for our founders and, and for people to really go crazy, right? Yeah. You, you go crazy yeah. and you break the internet and, you know, you create a product that, that help, fund, I mean, help people uh, do research for cancer while you sleep. Yeah, and you're like. pressing the sound barrier. <laughs> Cracking mock one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so, so that was that was really awesome. Um, and, and the really big picture of this is to really create a um, the next generation of internet um, so that it could help people um, allow them to really create whatever products that they, they create and use that distributed computation. Okay, so this is a framework for much larger, better, good things. Yeah. But for the future, I mean, also even you know, I mean, after this cancer project, so it could be used for many, many different things as well. Yeah, I'm sure if you download the app, you're going to have some of your own ideas of what we can put the computing power to good use for. Yeah, so um, we also have um, a program on YouTube, um, and, and also in our dance, it's called uh, Mindfulness for Cancer. Oh, what's it called? Mind? Mindfulness for Cancer. Mindfulness for Cancer. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, you know, besides besides the technology, we really wanted to focus on community because I think community is really important. Right? Yeah, it's what Casey is all about. Yeah, so so we um, I actually joined some of the cancer community and um, within a week I hear like three or four people who pass away and you know and then also people who take care of loved ones with cancer. Yes. So I, I wanted I wanted us to really give back to the community, you know. Um, death is really you know, um, people say that when we die, when, you know, a person with cancer died, mm -hmm. their grief ends, but our, our grief begins, right? Yes. So how do we take care of ourselves, and how do we take care of the, of the, of the people with cancer? Um, so I think it's really important to really get back to the community um, so, that, so that they know how to contribute, because it's really about love. Yes. All comes back to love. Let's see, I just interviewed somebody a week ago on that topic. No, a few days ago. I said it was Tuesday. And it all really comes back to love. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, our, our, my argument would be that most problems can be solved by that four letter word. And so, what a great way to be able to, uh, to you know, if, you, if you're not in a sphere where anybody in your family or, or community has cancer, then if you download this app, Compute, 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 Compute for Cancer, then the, it's going to give you a tie back to uh, what is probably one of the, the biggest uh, uh, robbers of our spirit and soul that we have in this current society that we've invented for ourselves. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I, I did a little bit of research, and um, yeah. I found out that, you know, even in 2012, lung cancer had 1.8 million new cases, um, and then the second is breast cancer, which is 1.7 million, and, you know, colon cancer is the third, with 1.4 million, and you really think about all these new cases in one year, it, it's, it's something that could affect everyone. And, you know, if do we want to live longer, do we want to create memories with the people that we love, you know, and how do we end this? So I think it's really important to really support the researchers and academia who is doing yeah. research and finding the care and finding the molecules, you know, yeah. and, 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 the, and the chemical drugs that would help, help us control cancer. Yeah, or eradicate it. Yeah. So, uh, well... Absolutely. You think shout out for the found the founders. There's more than one founder. Yeah. So there is a, a Chris Chris Kitchen is a founder. Um, there is our director uh, is Gordon. 
Um, and then uh, we have an operations. His, uh, his name is Isaiah. And okay. so they're basically the three directors oh, of um, of the nonprofit organization. And, you know, they're, they're all awesome. So um, I, I enjoy working with them. Kudos to the founders. Yeah. And, uh, it's such a great, good cause. Yeah, so... Um, so it does tap into Berkeley's open network. Yes, it does. Okay. Um, it's it's we're connected to Berkeley. Uh, you know, we're connected to uh, the Berkeley Open Infrastructure Network Computing. Um, you know, and we're connected to IBM as well. And uh, you can look at the projects at the Rural Community Grid. Um, just do a search on that. Um, and uh, to download our app, you just go to Android or, or Amazon Kindle and just look at and just look for and do a search on Compute for Cancer. And we're also on um, Facebook. Um, so facebook.com slash compute for cancer is our page. Um, okay. There you can see our groups. Um, you know, we are building community. So, you know, if you want if you want to volunteer, if you want to be part of this, you know, just contact us. Go to our site, contact us, say that you want to volunteer. Um, you know, we, yeah. we are really looking to grow this and really make the app, you know, to make the app, app um, awesome. The app is in beta. So, you know, as, as you know, because we're in the Silicon Valley, beta apps mean there might be typos and bugs. Well, I'm telling it to you right here from the heart of <laughs> Silicon Valley's KZSU Stanford Radio 9.1. We do want to uh, commend Berkeley for facilitating this. Mm -hmm. So KZSU rarely gets to, like, you know, commend the Berkeley folks over there, but we do love you. I did go to Berkeley. We do so love the Berkeley, the I do Berkeley community. That. <laughs> because if we didn't love the Ber Berkeley community, I mean, how would we have a football game with them every year? You know, we have to have love to, to, to bring them to the, to the campus. So, no, seriously, uh, we do want to let all our listeners know everybody go out there and, and try and break the, 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 the Berkeley system again and download so many apps. It's got so many new app users in beta, and it would be so appreciated. I'm certain it would perfect it even faster if you are an early adopter of com computer cancer. For cancer. For cancer. For cancer. Yeah, cancer. so if we have like a million active users on Compute for Cancer yeah. on Android, it's as fast as a supercomputer. So, uh, you know... Let's back up a minute. That, that's huge. Okay, yeah. so if, if you have a million users yeah. on Compute for Cancer, cancer the yeah. app, then it's as fast yes. and as much computing power as a supercomputer. Correct. Well, so that's that's awesome. That's worth like everybody stopping here at the top of the hour. And um, yeah, it's high noon. Instead of uh, going right for get straight for grabbing your lunch, just stop and download Compute for mm -hmm. Cancer. I'm going to go do it myself right now on my Android. Yay! Michelle, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. She's been been my my co-host here on. Cream Papa Radio, and we so appreciate you all listening, and we appreciate uh, uh, Time Traveler ruining us his time to be able to broadcast today, but we do have, we do have another great uh, song queued up for you that's actually uh, Yo-Yo Ma's and the Silk Project, so don't go away and stay right here. We've got more for you all day today at KZSU Stanford 90.1 FM.